What's blue and honey? I don't know. The fuzzy blue gobbler shooter. That's what. This episode is brought to you by our fans. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. You guys are like the grenadine in our tequila sunrise. Without you, we just have alcoholic orange juice. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Fuzzy Blue Gobbler. I have no idea what that means. It's probably a, rep, uh, a character representation from something that I don't know, and I will be forever ridiculed on YouTube for missaying something like I did with the Charizard or whatever it was. I still get comments. It's a Pokemon character. You're saying it wrong. It happens. So what I'm going to do is a... Let's see, question of the day later, we'll do peach schnapps, we're gonna do honey whiskey, we're gonna do blue curacao. It's filled with blue curacao. I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is, you can either assume a fill is gonna be about a half ounce, give or take. I'm gonna just get creative, I'm gonna chill that up a little bit. I'm going to build it in a glass, pour it into my shaker, and do it that way. That way I can get the fill right. So I'm gonna do an ounce of honey whiskey. And for this, we're using wild turkey American honey because that's what they suggested I use. I could end up with a severe problem. Um, you know what? You know what's not going to work? That's not going to work because this is not going to fit into a glass. So what I'm going to do is just build it right in here because my glass isn't going to fit all of this no matter what. So for my fill, I'm just going to say a half ounce. I like blue curacao. There, consider it filled little peach tree sn schnapps an ounce some people measure with shot glasses so this is even easier feel that way all right peculiar smell there you go it's fuzzy and it's blue we're done no a little ice a little shake shaky shake shake it let's do it Ooh, it's the color of cool blue. One for the camera shot. If we have enough, which we should, since the ice will dilute a little bit. Looks like the Surf Rider shooter, whatever it was called, that we did once. Also looks eerily, eerily like... Hypnotic. Eerily. I don't feel like putting that back. So you, you, you get this impression of a hypnotic drink. I'm guessing once those bubbles start to fade away, you're going to have much less hypnotic look and much more of a clear blue sky-like thing going on, which will be kind of neat. But that's the Fuzzy Blue Gobbler. This recipe, by the way, was submitted by Dis Disbeckable. And I'm thinking it's Beck just because of her name. So, Despicable sent this in, said, look, if you can't get honey whiskey, use regular old bourbon whiskey. Use whatever whiskey you can get, and that should get you to where you need to go. It will have a different flavor, but you know what? Sometimes substitutions have to be made, and that's what we're going to do. So, let's do the shot. It's got honey, blue, a little bit of peach, which brings in a lot of sweetness. That blue, the citrus really does play through, so a good curacao here might not be a bad idea. Very flavorful. That honey keeps coming. It's just, it. now I'm getting the oak flavor. So you get the honey, you get the oak. This is a very complex little shooter. If we're not being layered, whiskey shooters could be pretty, pretty cool. So that's the Fuzzy Blue Gobbler from Despicable. Gonna go uh, take a shot of that because it looks pretty neat. A product shot. Throw it up on facebook.com slash cocktail TV. We are done. Question of the day. Um, what is your favorite garnish to put on a cocktail? Go crazy. Stay over there, please. Uh, we're going to... I'm thinking we're going we're gonna to say on the show, since people like me to answer, um, the biggest orange I can find. The, like, the big one. Like a whole big orange. Cut it into a, a thin slice. Half it on there, even on a shooter with a big orange on the side, I think that would just be really sweet. Um, sweet looking, not sweet tasting. That depends on these things. Done. EverydayDrinkers.com. EverydayDrinkers.tv. Either way, I, I have a new picture with the update, but I, 
I don't have it on. That's expensive. Don't want another one. So I'll, I'll figure something out someday. There we go. We're teaching you how to drink.